You know, ladies and gentlemen, you say in sports that statistics are not everything. In this player's case, it sums it up. Do you know that this skater is the only player in major hockey history to be captain of four different teams? Well, it's, you got to be talking about the man they call Roscoe, Terry Ruskowski. Now, Terry W. was Ruskowski, born Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. Uh, December 31st, 1954. Not the biggest player on the ice, but a big heart nonetheless. 5'9", 168. Now, he played center for the majority of his career. First came to major prominence uh, playing junior in, in Humboldt, Saskatchewan, in the Saskatchewan Junior Hockey League, which at the time was Tier 2. Now, his leadership ability at age 16 was evident, as was his, uh, as was his toughness. He helped to propel the Broncos in the league final that year. Now, from 71 to 74, he graduated to the vaunted Swift Current Broncos, where he became captain in his second and third year and helped to lead the team until the loss in the semifinals in 1974. As well, he still holds a team record for most assists in one year, which was 93 in 1974. He could be expected to stick up for his teammates, a situation that led to many fighting penalties during his years with Swift Current. His last season, he had 243 minutes, 133 points, and uh, 40 goals. Now, this drew major interest be between the NHL and the WHA. He was drafted 70 overall by the Chicago Blackhawks and 30 overall by the Houston Arrows in the 1974 draft. Now, eventually, he skated uh, for the Arrows for a number of years, as well as the Winnipeg Jets at the WHA. Then he went back to the Blackhawks with the merge, then also played with the Kings, the Penguins, and the Minnesota North Stars. Now, he was captain for the Arrows, the Blackhawks, the Kings, and the Penguins. And again, the only player in major pro history to uh, have that uh, distinction. Now, his first year as a 19-year-old with Houston, he had 46 points in their championships Avco Cup season, including 10 goals. Best season with the Arrows was 1977, where he had 84 points in 80 games, including 17 points in the playoffs. Now, he was part of the Winnipeg Jets AFCO winner in 79 with 86 points in 75 games and with 13 points in 8 playoff contests. Now, uh, when the NHL-WHA NHL merged, he eventually skated with Chicago. He had three very consistent seasons with the Blackhawks. Best year was in 1980 when he had 70 points in 74 games. Now, 83, he found himself with the Kings. Played uh, three solid seasons, then ended up with the Penguins in 86, where he had 63 points in 73 games. Now, uh, 88, he found himself with the Minnesota North Stars, where he wrapped up his career in 1989. Now, WHA totals, 337 points in 369 games, going uh, 254 assists. And also, he was inducted to WHA's uh, first Hall of Fame in 2010, with 54 points in 52 playoff games, including those two half-goal cups. Now, NHL, 426 in 630 games, including 113 goals and 7 points in 21 uh, playoff contests. Now, following his retirement, he was named head coach of the Laredo Bucks of the Central Hockey League. On March 18, 2009, he secured his 500 coaching win as the Bucks defeated the, the Texas Brahams of Fort Worth 4 3 in the Southern Conference playoffs. Now, in 2007, he entered the final year of a four-year contract extension with the Bucks. Now, uh, the he led the Bucks to a postseason in 78 years of head coach. The team won the President Cup's championship trophy in 2004 and 06, and four consecutive Southern Conference titles. Now, uh, Roskowski eventually became a well-known figure in the Laredo community, and uh, on June 3rd, uh, 2010, on behalf of Rotary. He was named a Paul Harris Fellow at a ceremony at Texas A&M. &M. Now, in May, in May 2011, Roskowski announced his resignation after 10 years of coaching the Bucks. The decision to step down, despite the lifetime contract, came after declining attendance and unfortunately depressed revenues for the Bucks. He compiled a 343-175-56 overall record in Laredo and was CHL Coach of the Year during 2006. A year after Ruskowski's, Ruskowski's departure from the Bucks, the team, citing declining attendance and re revenue reversals, disbanded. Now, on June 28, 2011, Ruskowski being him the coach of the Rio Grande Valley Killer Bees hockey team, based in McAllen, a staunch rival of Laredo Bucks. Ruskowski had a, a two-year contract with the Bees. 
He eventually became the head coach and GM to Quad Silly Matter Mallards of the ECHL in 2014 and uh, was uh, let go on January 20th, 2017 from those roles. Now, again, uh, talking about the induction in 2010, uh, again, it wasn't for his statistics, but again, for his uh, staunch leadership on and off the ice. But what was kind of bizarre, ladies and gentlemen, why Ruskowski stands out, because his first card in the NHL was an old Houston Arrows photo from uh, that time in the, the mid-1970s. So for us as collectors back in the day, we're saying, oh, Ruskowski finally got his chance in the NHL, but here they're using an old uh, WHA photo to announce him. But I do remember there were certain key playoff games in the NHL with Chicago, especially that 82 season where, you know, he was doing much more than just scoring goals and bringing, uh, bringing assists. His leadership, he was almost like a second coach for, uh, for the Blackhawks in that era. What was kind of ironic, ladies and gentlemen, when he played with the Penguins, that's when Mary arrived too, so obviously his, his numbers went up a little bit. But again, the penalty minutes were there. Uh, for three uh, consecutive seasons, between 79 and 81, he had more than 210 minutes in penalties. And again, his final uh, penalty totals, ladies and gentlemen, 2,100 in the regular season and 260 in the playoffs. So you can tell he was he was rough and tumble, but uh, what a what a what a legacy to to be captain of a junior team in four major pro teams. That's that's pretty impressive. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the legend of Terry Ruskowski. If you like what we're doing here in our WHA and NHL Ventures podcast, let us know. Give us a like, comment, or subscribe. Very well appreciated, and uh, keep your stick in the ice. Bye.